Hello guys and welcome back for another interesting and wonderful indie game. Today we're looking at Within a Deep Forest. And we've got all the credits right there so you can see who did it. Now this is a, I know, another platformer. But hear me out, it's got something a little bit different. Not totally different, but we're, we're doing little baby steps towards innovation. And it's fine because it's an indie game, it's pretty to look at, it's got some interesting stuff going on. So check out this little kind of heavy cutscene and then we'll show you the game. The year is 2500. The whole world is in ruins. Only a small number of people have survived the war, one of which the infamous and notorious Dr. Cliche. The time machine that he has built has enabled him to travel many hundred years back in time. Here he has been able to complete his most dastardly deed the building of an underwater laboratory, inside of which he has placed the most powerful bomb the world has yet known. His first attempt failed, and instead led to the creation of a ball, although no ordinary ball. If ever this bomb should explode, the entire planet will freeze and all life will be lost. In this way Dr. Cliché aims to eliminate beyond all reckoning the possibility of such a future ever coming to pass. Where Dr. Cliché is to be found exactly at present, nobody knows. But rumor has it that the bomb is activated. The world lies in grave danger. That is, unless... Whoa, right? Big stuff. It's a ball. So you'll see on the side here, we've got a choice of all different kind of balls. I'm not sure what those are going to do later on, but for now, you only get that one. So this is the practice area. And there's really only a couple of things you can even really do. And if you hold down shift, or S, you sort of start to vibrate and glow white. And that's going to allow you to bounce higher. And then you're using the arrow keys to make sure that you go in the right direction. Now a lot of the time you're going to bounce sort of wildly, so you have to time where it is that you're moving and how it is that you're moving. Oh, okay, so with that one you actually have to swing with the up and down keys, so there's actually some vertical movement too. Hold the A key to minimize the speed that you will bounce away from walls or from the ground. It's very important that you learn to use this. Okay, well the game says very important. Okay, so that's like your brake, whereas the shift key is going to speed you up, the S key is going to slow you down, you turn sort of a blinky uh, red. So you want me to practice jumping back and forth between those two points? I'm a master of platformers, I don't need that. Warp spot, activated by stepping into the light. If you die, you'll be automatically warped back to the spot. That makes sense. That wasn't good. I'm a master of platformers, look at me go. So I can just press 1 and regen myself back into existence. Wow, okay. Believe me, still am a master. Just need to not get so worked up about jumping there. Oh, what is this? So there's like a little town full of people that I can crush with this giant ball. That seems cruel, doesn't it? Or are they... Are they people? That one's awfully agile. Kind of want to get up to that higher point up there, but I'm pretty sure I can. So let's just head on. Warp. Whoa. Alright, activate a yellow bridge by bouncing on the switch. You've been trapped. However, you can simply press the spacebar to return to the last warp. Okay. So that's what that's about. I was wondering why when I hit spacebar by accident, it kept deleting me. I thought it was like a restart or something, or change ball. But since I have no other balls, I thought it was useless. That didn't sound good. I have dozens of other balls. Oh, okay, we're back here again. So, this is actually sort of a non-linear ball-bouncing world where we need to be concerned about ultimate destruction and bombs and the world freezing over for some reason. 
It has lovely little touches. There's like these little flies bouncing around, and then there's dirt and bits and particles that come out. Save. So I guess that's Aurora Mountains. What about this one? One. So maybe this is more like the game proper. And the other area was just a training area, and that was really all it was. Oh, okay. Whoa, there's an eagle or something. Or is that an owl? Eagle owl? Oh, I get it. Hey, this is like a page right out of Portal. You get charged up, and you dash right through that pipe as long as you have enough jump, and you should bounce right over that gap. That's one way out. There was something down there which I didn't actually see. Oh, this looks like it could break. Maybe if I had a heavier ball. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Where's the owl? I want that back. And what's down here? That's exciting. What does that get me? Nothing. <laughs> oh, and that's the menu, of course. Yeah, because it says menu right there. Durr. Alright, let's figure out how to get that owl. I want it for my collection of owls. Come here. Man, did I like miss something awesome and rare? No, there he is. Hi, owl. What are you doing? Can we be friends? Do you want... Do you want to take the ball somewhere? No? Okay, well it was nice seeing you anyway. The ball seems to have some sort of like face or something on it, I can't quite tell. And there's all these little animals and creatures and stuff, but it seems like you can't really interact with any of them, which is a bit of a shame. But at the same time, it's not too bad because you don't want to have too much stuff going on that complicates the experience. This seems like more of an exploration-based platformer. Oh, so that actually, that snake looks like it shoots lasers or something out at, at me. Can I go in this building? Yes. How strange. Hi, I'm your guide to everything you find in this forest. If you want to know more, hit the down arrow key. I do want to know more. No matter the problem, the answer is almost always to use another ball material. Never forget that. Always return to the practice area with every new material. Bounce around and learn how to use the new powers. Remember what to do when someone offers you a new power. Step into the light. Press enter. If you need to go back to the forest, just hit escape. At least it works in some places. King Arak Mistis lives on the far side of Elune Lake. He can teach you how to fly. Problem is, there's a big dragon guarding the lake, so you might want to forget about- might as well forget about that. It can sometimes be useful to remember who gave you a new power. Lasers can damage a lot of things, but not something you can see though through. The tiger on the east- wow, there's a lot of information here. Tiger on the eastern side of Pinewood Heights believes that by eating another creature it gets its powers, but what if the creature doesn't have any powers? There's a time machine to the west of here, you should not use anything other than the cold ball with it. Now I've shared everything I know, with your intelligence I'm sure you can figure out the rest by yourself. What are you? You're like a little weird puppy or something. With bunny ears. And Pikachu cheeks. So there doesn't seem to be much in the way of, like, deadly pits, except for, like, these that you can see are deadly. And because I actually made it to that warp, I could actually fall in there pretty much with no punishment, which is cool. How do I make it up that, though? It's a little too high for me, I might need a new ball material. So, out I go. Except now I'm stuck over here, so now I actually have to make the jumps again. No. No! Oh, almost. There we go. I gotta remember not to just force myself out the walls, because that's only gonna result in trouble. I really like the idea behind this. It's sort of like a Metroidvania, but like with a ball. <laughs> and materials instead of like, suits.
it's sort of like the most fundamental distilled down parts of what makes that style of game really work. It's the whole lock and key mechanisms thing. I've heard people talking about like the way Zelda presents the idea. They use the word lock and key or the words lock and key metaphorically in a way that like a broken wall is a lock whereas a set of bombs is a key. It's a blocked area of some form that is transformed into something you can access with an item. So they all may as well be keys, they just take lots of different shapes and sizes. And the same thing applies like to Super Metroid if you think about it, like grapple beam, hook shot areas or whatever, those are all the same sort of an idea. Whoa! Oh, okay. I wasn't sure that that was going to propel me up, actually. There we go. Just needed to not hold down the button that time. Yep, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor, and I didn't actually land on that warp area, so I guess I need to do that again. And up we go. There we go. Some little bug thing over there. No. Crap. Crap. No. It's a little hard to control, but that's part of the fun, I suppose. Figuring out exactly how to navigate everything. This one, it seems like you almost need to charge up ahead of time. Can I get you? No, I can't touch that thing at all. Oh, and thankfully there's like a checkpoint on every single point. Or every single screen, I mean. Whoa. Let's go right first, because it seemed like the cliff was coming to an end over there. Maybe not. Wow, I'm like a heat-seeking missile to these death pools. Wow. I really like how simple everything is, and it doesn't look cheap, it just looks like kind of classy, actually. The nice starry sky, and wow, I'm... In the middle of nowhere now. What are you? A squirrel or something? That's way too high. I guess it's earned its name of being a deep forest. No! I almost made it over. How about over here? And there's all sorts of weird technological bits and gadgets and pieces and hoping I could find another ball type, or material, I mean. Doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere, though. Whoa. Okay, gotta hug this wall, and not go all the way around. <laughs> there we go. Now I need to jump the gap. There we go. No! Oh, thank goodness. It pushed me back up for some reason. Now, if I could smack into the ceiling a bit, that would probably make it easier for me to get under that. Wow, okay. I guess that's how you do it, actually. Cool. There's another one of these log things. I guess I need the heavy ball for that, too. I'm assuming there's a heavy ball. No idea where I'm going, I'm just completely arbitrarily going in whatever direction seems appealing at the moment. It'd be kind of nice if there was a mini-map or something, but... You know, part of the fun is exploration, learning where you can and can't go. And I don't think that the landscape is so complicated that a mini-map might be necessary, but it would be handy, at least for now. Can I get over this? I felt like I could. Yes. It's hard to stop moving, though, once you get up above this edge. Because you kind of have to smack yourself into the wall to even get the momentum to go over that corner. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Maybe you can't do it. 
Well, that's too bad. Oops. Is that? Oh, it's still activated, right? So how do I get out now? I have to probably use this. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, get me. <laughs> up. All the way up. Go. There we go. Now I gotta jump this gap. And what's over here? Back to the menu, apparently. Oh wow, I didn't expect to see you here. Hey, since you came all this way to see me, I've got something to show you. Bounce over into this light here and press enter. Pink ball is a little bit faster and bounces a bit higher than your old blue one. Downside is it's a bit harder control to control. You might want to try it out first in the practice area. Yeah, it looks like it does go a little bit higher. Can I pop myself on? Oh, yeah, I can. Yikes, he says. Cool. And then that would take me back to, potentially, to this uh, practice area. But, for now, I'm going to save my game, and I think that'll be it for our little preview of Within a Deep Forest. Looks like a very cool game, actually. I would uh, quite recommend this one. I I'm not sure how long it is, as with all my videos, it seems. Uh, but it seems like it's definitely experience worth going through. I mean, especially if you're into platformers and Metroidvania-style games. Nice and peaceful, kind of quiet. It's a forest. What's not to love? Alright, thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.